Supplies! Supplies! Welcome to the NZ, sorry, the LOL NZ Semi Pro League Show Match. We get some of the uh, some of the top players from the uh, not not from just the tournament, but also that came and joined us, such as uh, such as Wolf and Rice Cakes, coming in and having a little bit of a friendly match. We do have Wolf, Reno Fox, Ian, of course. Big shout out to that guy creating this tournament for us. Sticks, Rice Cakes. Also, over on the blue team, on the red team, we do have Philanthropic. We're sitting with Quag Pornography, Lone Pack, and Ingots. Look at all of those quick bands. They know exactly what they want. Kale's going down. Aurelia, Zin, Elise. There is no Tarek. There is no Blitzcrank. There is no... Surprisingly, there's no Zed. Evolve does indeed go top lane, which he may not do. Who knows? But uh, definitely, they're going to get the Shen out. And what is that last ban going to be? Yeah, oh, he did pick up the Zed. Volf has got exactly what he wants. He's doing whatever he wants. Going where he pleases. The last ban was Vi. Are we going to see Blitzcrank picked up in this game? I really, really hope we do. I haven't seen a Blitzcrank all day. And he's not... Oh, he's, he's just going to screw with me. If he goes ADC support combo with Rice Cakes, I call game. I call game. Is he honestly going to do this? Old school is. Of course, Wolf, he was he had a lot of success with Israel early in uh, in the 2012 scene. And Wolf is a really interesting ADC. He may just be early picking that for his team because he knows uh, he knows Zed will not be picked out. Um, but yeah, Israel, a, a really really powerful high burst champion. And again, sorry, Wolf plays ADCs in a really weird way. He doesn't play them auto attack. He plays them assault burst damage carry. Not even auto attack class. So it's really, really off putting fighting against something with that much burst. It's crazy. Maybe we'll see the old text tech gunblade Israel. That would be some fun times from 2012. Philanthropic going straight up for that uh, for that Rumble top lane. Rumble's still a very, very tough champion to match. Again this is the show match here for the Semi Pro League, sponsored by Lolly Z and many others. Between some of the biggest players and biggest names this tournament has seen and who have come to see this tournament. Quank thinking about that Lulu pick. Will it really be so? It is gonna go down. No Tarek pick coming out from either side yet. I really would have thought Insta Tarek, come on. Insta Tarek or Insta Blit Crank. So picking Lulu over Blitz. Interesting little tactic there. If they go for Blitz, that's such a bad initiation combo. Absolutely destructive. We may not see a Blitz Crank picked out though. I find that so funny. Picked, he, he's banned out every single game. And the instant he's free, nobody's picking him up. I never get my I never get my Blitz Crank. I'm so sad. We go, Tarek gonna be picked up there. Hit cut him, maybe. I think Ian does love his hit cut him. Again, I've never been a big fan. But I just don't know how to play him. Not an experienced hit player. Hit cut him has a lot of uh, a lot of disorients. And he's got a great initiate with his ultimate. Pornography thinking of going for the Lee Sin. The Vi being banned out has prompted a Lee Sin pick. You can imagine they would have picked that Vi out. Oh, really? Are you thinking about Nautilus over Lee? Gragas over Lee, definitely. Gragas over Lee. And now he's just random picking just for me. This is this is why NZ for the win thinks pornography has failed. You mess with the bull, you get the horns. Okay. Severe gonna be instant locked in by Lone Pack. Looking for that uh sorry, looking for that spell shield against the Tarek. Will be helping him out a lot. Yep, NZ hating on that pornography. <laughs> and he's thinking of going on that uh Oh no, logging in is that Nunu in the jungle. That is some troll pick going on right here. Gonna come out with a blood boil into an ice uh, into an ice ball. 
that is a decent combo to uh, to be perfectly honest and he does help out with that attack speed when he gets into a lane and he's a little bit better as a lane ganker and not a uh, not a river ganker but we'll see what he comes out with and yeah this rice cakes thinking about picking up that Z to swap with Volf maybe they're gonna swap uh, maybe they're gonna swap roles <laughs> who knows I was told rice cakes was going to support so maybe a couple of swaps going out here Ingot's last pick for that mid lane, unless we uh, unless we see Rumble decide to go on that mid lane. Mid will be Oriana, so who is Oriana going to face up against? Are we going to see an old school Morgana play, or is it sustained with the Nidalee? Is it really? Oh, locks in as the Nidalee. Pretty confident to get enough burst out in that lane. I'm thinking it's going to be very difficult for a Nidalee mid lane against an Oriana. Maybe going top with that Rumble in mid. They could definitely do that, but Rumble doesn't have as much range as Nidalee, and it's, it's very difficult to fight an Oriana close range. These are some interesting picks and bans, I can tell you that. Definitely something different, <laughs> not to be expected. So I guess we are going into the game, then I'll let you guys know about the dynamics of this team fight. Ah, uh, Reno, Reno did get a game. Lucky Reno. Reno go on the support. Rice Cakes actually on ADC switched with Volf at the last second, who did get his Z. So no matter what happened, Volf gonna get his Z. He picked it and he was like, I don't even care, it's mine. <laughs> How sad is that? But yeah, we are gonna go into this game in three minutes and counting. Alright, Tarek Israel bot lane, still such a such a powerful lane comp. Can be played passive, can be played aggressive. But the Lulu Severe comp kind of counters it. I mean, Lulu does have the shielding off from uh, from the burst provided by Rice Cakes on the Israel. And to be honest, the cleanse and the spell shield. Sorry, no, it's only spell shield. No cleanse going out of the Severe. The, the spell shield offering that kind of cleanse and mana coming onto the Dazzle from Tarek. Is that going to be enough to save the lane? It could. That really is the ace in the hole for Tarek. Once he gets out his Dazzle. That's the thing with uh, when, when you try and counter Tarek with your uh, with your cleanse, your cleanse goes down real quickly, but the spell shield it comes back very quickly. So it's very difficult to play against uh, Severe and Lannis Tarek. And Severe's burst is phenomenal if played right early in the game. She's got great chase potential at the at the end game with that ultimate as well. Very dangerous. I'm interested to see if the if the Rumble really does go top and if Nidalee does go mid. Uh, the thing with uh, Nidalee and Oriana, I went through this quite a lot in Season 3, is that Oriana, while her range is great at the beginning of the game, once you do hit level 6 as Nidalee, you can get very aggressive as Oriana. It depends how Oriana plays. Could keep him at, uh, at arm's length. Do not know. Let's hope it does go down. Semi-Pro League Show Match, guys. And then on to the finals. So if you're here for the finals, stay tuned. It will be happening right after this. No rest for the wicked. And I'm pretty wicked. Apparently, I get no rest at all. Now nah, I'm alive. I'm here. I'm here for you guys. I'm giving you that coverage. Delay remaining at one minute at the moment. So hold up there. We will get into the game. Now you guys are antsy. This is the problem with three-minute wait times. We need a land client. Riot, please love us. Please land client me up. Go and spread the stream for this show match, guys. Right after is the finals. Let's do this. Let's get 150,000 people. Go over to the LCS and be like, come on, this is trash. Bring everyone over to the semi-pro. Because that's where it's at. This is where you have fun. LCS is some serious shiz. Where's the fun? Where did the fun go from League of Legends? All, all of this eSports. Eh. Here we go. Come on, game. You know you love me. Don't screw up now. That Aurelia band, quite interesting. Uh, Volf really does love Aurelia as well. Used to do quite a good chase and uh, still... Still pretty dominant on Darius as well. He hasn't played Darius in a long time. Very in love with that Zed. And Zed's a very versatile champ as well. Can be played in the mid lane. Very effective jungler. Bro, 
Probably an ADC. Not. Funny player is an ADC though. He can uh, he can shadow clone right into your face. Pull off a couple of pull off a couple of hits. Reaper heck at him going out there. That's what it's all about. By the way, dude, that uh, the border for people with no border still looks great. Still looks really really good. Got no fear. Ian and Philanthropic, the zero border players. Here we go, we are now into the game as I wasn't paying attention. SPL in game. Let me just uh, let me just line these players up for you. The double jungle. Is that Nunu jungle? Gonna be interesting to see him play. Interesting. Long sword start out for Israel. Going to be moving in straight to a uh, tr straight to a vamp scepter, but it's boots start out for severe. Not going straight for uh, for a massive amount of sustain. Has got those three health pots though, and that spell shield. Maybe doing enough. Maybe she'll be able to get mana back that way. Even if she doesn't hit the mana shield off on the dazzle, she's got it available for the uh, for the mystic shot. Insta ward down from Lulu getting sight. Inside, uh, inside Blue's jungle. Again, this is the show match. No team names, just Blue versus Red. Simple, plain as it used to be. I don't know if you guys know some Red versus Blue. I miss me some of that. Amazing series. You see Red versus Blue? You didn't, right? Oh no, Rooster Teeth. They were awesome. It was, a, it was a Halo machinima. So much fun. Yeah, NZ for the win knows what I'm talking about. Sorry, NZ, what the f knows what I'm talking about? For the win, my ass. Oriana getting a little bit protective. We do have red team going all over blue team's ass. All in their jungle. Oh, look at that screaming going on. Apparently, we're going to have some exciting plays going on. I have no idea. That's the trouble with three minute delays. And now I'm excited. I'm going to burn you guys out before I even get there. Three minutes. Three minutes. Shut up. No. <laughs> Anticipation. They're getting really edgy over there. Holy crap. Standard jungling coming down from blue. Red starting very, very late though. Then Nunu not quite getting. He's not even going to have any leashes at all. He's going to be solo jungle Nunu. Nobody is helping pornography at the moment. Standard start out from the uh, sorry from the supports. We uh, we have those fairy fairy charms into three sight wards. Hickerham getting an early gank over on there. There it is. First blood going down a lone pack. Very good catch up from Ian Wind. Catching them off guard. Getting is that first blood going to help that bot lane so much. Scale that ADC to hell. Really helps out a. Uh, Really helps out an ADC like Israel looking for that early burst. Let's hope we don't see what we saw last game going straight into a uh, straight into a sheen. <laughs> I don't know. Can it can be played well straight into a sheen? It's just very very difficult. That is interesting. Nidalee is actually in the top lane switching with the rumble. So let me correct that for you guys. Sorry about that. Rumble in the mid against that Oriana. His sustain is going okay in comparison to his farm. Ingots is sort of getting bursted down by Volfir. There's the burst as you see. A good equal trade from the auto attacks though. Ingot keeping that up. And a lot of pushing from Rice Cakes and Reno Fox. As I said, can be played very aggressive, can be played supportive. But Lone Pack has, has the spell shield. Not quite getting it out from that early death that they had. A little bit sad there. Flask sitting in the middle on Oriana, not going straight for any regen. Are we going to see an early chalice from her, or is it going to be a tear? Something like that. Here's Philanthropic. There's what you can do as Rumble get right into the enemy's face, but Lone Pack is taking so much damage. Auto attack comes out on him as well. Straight from that arcane shift. And now Quank is in a world of hurt with pornography coming from behind. He goes for the Ice Blast down. Flashes from Rice Cakes. And the Arcane Shift isn't quite back up yet. 
No, the stun is down from him. We manage. Oh, he is going down. Pornography barely managing to get that kill. Good job on you, Pornography, but you are in, uh, in a lot of danger here. Quake maybe able to get the slow from Reno Fox. Is Reno going to get a double? Nah, denied. Complete denied. Oh, they're running away from the turret there. Where are they absolutely? Oh, where are they going with this? Here comes Lone Pack, and Reno is in a world of hurt, but Pornography's staying in there. The stun goes down into his shadow. He's gone. Oh my god, stayed, just completely outstayed as welcome, ran away from the turret as well. Thought there was no threat from a roaming Tarek, but there really is. Ian taking a lot of damage there, forcing the flash out. Gonna be running out from that, but 3-1 all ready to Team Blue, taken on the plays. I knew, I, I saw, I saw Tarek was going and I was like, he's gonna get a kill. Support Tarek always gets the kill. That is all you need. The Elixir is still on top lane on, uh, on Valve there. He's got quite a lot of sustain. And Lone Pack has taken so much damage from Rice Cakes, who has that Doran's Blade. And the Vamp Scepter doesn't need boots, as doesn't afraid of anything. Trading quite equally with Severe, though. She can hit over minions and deal a ton of damage. They are potting up severely quickly. They regen really, really well in that bot lane. In comes a little bit of Aegis starting out on uh, sorry on Tarek early in the game, not going straight for that, uh, not going straight for that. Damn it, keep forgetting Philo Stone, not going straight for the Philo Stone, not going straight for the Side Stone. And there's some nuts screaming over in the corner. Lone Pack getting taken down with an instant burst from Rice Kegs. Completely out of position there. Quank getting very, very scared from this. Is Renew Fox going to the dive? No. Just going to be a, uh, a help picks coming down on that. And Volv still getting so aggressive against Ingots. Is the Ignite going to go down? Ingots may be dead here. Kiting him around. Ingots does go down just barely to that engage. Ingots trying to use the minions to get as much damage as she could out of that. She did get the Ignite down, but it wasn't enough. She pounced instead of swiped. And that knitted, uh, that knitted Volv the kill up at top. Ian going for the engage in mid. Philanthropic is dealing a lot of damage to Sticks and getting away with it. Nunu going to be caught in that jungle position there. He's going for the slow against Ian. Sticks getting the protect out and the slow. And look at Pornography able to completely decimate that mid laner. I know I did say that, Nub Leader. I did tell them that they probably should switch sides, but they didn't. Uh, they didn't follow me. Down goes the equalizer. And would you look at that? Trying to get the uh, sorry, trying to get the shockwave off, but uh, Rumble knew exactly what was going on. He was taking too much turret damage. He had to get right out of there, escaping as he can. Philanthropic, ready to take the world on. There is the burst coming out from Reno Fox. No old hitting off for him, though. He isn't level six quite yet. As soon as he hits his alt. That is going to be devastating. What is the the shadow combined with the the radiance? It is pretty devastating. And having that as well as true shot barrage, just don't know how to deal with it. Oh, you just died a little inside. Yeah. Well, actually, you used it defensively, so it did manage to get Rumble out, out of the turret range because he was taking way too much damage. If he had gone in and played with her, she would have gotten that kill. He knew what he was getting into. And she knew just how to make him piss off. Great lane control. That's what I call it. Securing that protection as opposed to that death. Reno Fox taking so much damage, getting aggressive against Lone Pack and Quank. Quank dishing out a lot of damage. That's what you can do as Lulu. Oh, and there it is. The kill's going to go out. Oh, it's actually going to be severe falling off of that as Pornography takes the kill on Rice Cakes with an Ice Blast. Reno Fox is in danger here. No ult available for Pornography, but he is managing to get the Ice Blast out. Double kill with the Ice Blast. This is going to be a fed Nunu. How often do you see that with Ian Wynn coming in? He's going to take a lot of damage. Will be forced out of the fight. Oh, and there's the ult. It, it will actually continue on. The Blood Boil does go down. Oh, Ice Ball's a minion. Oh, and Pornography is going to go down to the turret damage. Quank does not have enough mana for the uh, for the wild growth there. If they had enough mana for that wild growth, maybe would have survived that engage and, and gotten off with a two for nothing, but a two for one it is. 
That is how we roll. Actually, a three for one, I believe. As they did manage to get Torek and Israel. So, seven four as it stands. Two team blue. Doing very well in this game, of course. I mean, just that unlucky engage at the bot lane. Nunu may be going spurt of the Lizard Elder there. He's, getting, he's got himself a giant spell. Sorry, spurt of the Ancient Golem. That's it. Spirit of the Ancient Golem, I do believe, is the Giant Spout version. Taking up severely against, uh, against anyone there. Heck, I'm not sure where he's, what he's going to be doing with that. The Equalizer goes down as a gank goes up in the mid lane. In the top lane, sorry, with uh, Philanthropic going for the kill involved. Oh, no, his ingots taking the target. He isn't, but still the minions kill. The minion damage picks up the kill with the Ignite. Just barely landing that. Ian trying to go one for one against Philanthropic. Philanthropic going double flash against him. Going for the junkyard. Titan gets the kill against him. Oh, so close there. Double flash. Ian thought he had the escape. Not quite, though. Quank now with enough mana to ult. Doesn't throw it out. Oh, difficult position. Is the. Oh, no, the true shot barrage is coming up on Israel. He will be able to get it back. He's got the ignite down. No! He's not able to get it back in time. If he had that, it was a one for one still. He does get the. Sorry, that was Tarot going down. He does get the revive. And there's the. Uh, there's the true shot. And there's the B. Again, thank God for Riot for taking off the uh, for taking off that Israel command skin that told the casters exactly what was going on with them at every second of the game. That just got annoying, but yeah, gonna be taken down there. That's uh, if you can hear that. That's Ian jizzing in the background. Hi, Ian. <laughs> oh, he can't hear me, but I can hear him. One of those rowdy neighbors. All right, Angles up at top, taking all of uh, taking all of the farm going on there. How are they actually going? Six two versus seventy eight. Two kills on Volve. Of course, he is a very dominant player. Top in uh, top in VGR, best team in New Zealand. He's seemingly taken Ingot for a stroll here, easily pushing him out. Not even trying. Not even afraid of anything. Two uh, two pickaxes. One on Valve, maybe going. It doesn't look like straight for a Brutalizer, surprisingly. Not sure what he's going to be doing with that pickaxe. But one is sitting on Israel, most likely going into a static shiv. Did he just taunt? Did Volv just do the. Volv just did the ghost taunt. Oh. Here we go, Ian Wynn coming in for a gank here. He does manage to get off the running hooves, putting off his ult on Quank and Intrepid. Sorry, and Lone Pack. Does manage to get the fear and Douglas the true shot, but a knock up onto Ian does keep him far enough into the turret to get the kill. And it may be a 1 for 1. Reno was caught in the middle of that though. And Lone Pack looking for the kill against Rice Cags may be able to get it considering he did take a lot of turret damage. Lone Pack will be getting up that boomerang blade pretty soon. He does have it available, isn't going to throw it out just yet though. Looking for a considerate amount of damage on the Rice Cags, who is, uh, who is taking up a lot. Oh, that turret dive equalizer from Phantom. Sorry, from Philanthropic. Going to mean the end for Oriana. Stiggies has a lot of trouble with those turret dives. Did manage to get down the ult, not keeping them in range of the turret for long enough. So many turret dives going on in this game. So much potential. They've got the head cut over on, uh, over on blue side and they've got the Nunu over on the red side. Those two in combination can turret dive all day long. Not as much economy, he's not as tanky, but they do have Tarek there. And there's an auto attack battle taking down the Severe for a 12 11 game. Only 1k gold gap sitting right now, and only one kill between them. Farmers going a little bit into Red Team's favor as a full Doran set for Lone Pack. Look at that Lone Pack. Uh, five Doran's blades sitting on Lone Pack, doing whatever he wants. What is going on with you, Lone Pack? Doesn't afraid of all the things. No, uh, no, no warmogs yet in this game. Oh, the auto attack may go out from Rice Cakes. He's looking against. Uh, oh no, he didn't get aggressive against the turret. He could have though, but I believe that was a flash out from Lulu, so she was pretty safe. And there are the ice blasts going out on pornography. A one for one. Oh, that did that did just happen. Look at that. Volk getting a one for one against Ingots, and down will go uh, Israel to a turret kill with Nunu. Pick it up. What people are dying all over the place. What the hell? What the hell just happened? 
It is a three for one exchange across the map. A little bit in favor to Red Team now picking up on those kills and still with that gold advantage, 1k difference. But yeah, that apparently happened. In mid lane, you did have Rumble decimating the, uh, decimating the Oriano. Up at top, we did have we did have pornography taking out Ian, I believe it was, and Reno Fox down in the down in the bot lane, as an exchange to Ingots versus versus Wolf, I believe it was. So all across the map, deaths taking charge, double haunting guys sitting on rubble. It looks like Red Team are just trolling around now. Will they really be taking out Wolf and Rice Cakes? Of course, just a fun little show match for you guys. Have some fun. Yeah, double haunting guys and five. Uh, Doran's Blades. <laughs> They're just having fun. They're just trolling around, guys. I don't know how much Haunting Guys stacks us. We do see a uh, little bit of Engaged going down a bot. Lone Pack does manage to get altered here, but he's going to go down to the significant amount of bursts happening. Quank may be in trouble. Nuna was trying to get in there just in time. He's looking for the kill on Rice Cakes. He may not find it, though. Heal goes down from Tarek. And Quank easily going to get bursted down. Now he was looking for help from Pornography, who may be able to get the ult off, looking for the auto attacks on Rice Cakes. Oh, he's playing, he's running circle around him. There is the, uh, there's the Earth heal again from Tarek. Going to be able to give them that triple kill. That was devastating. All of them felt like going in one, v, uh, sorry, 1v3 that entire fight. What is going through Red Team's mind at the moment? I don't know. I really don't. It is, it is a big, uh, it's, it's a really big issue when casters have no idea what the hell is going on. A huge issue. But let me see how those haunting guys are stacking each other. The unique passive is the magic pen, so we need to get 25 ability power and 200 health. So what the hell? It looks like he's going for a third haunting guys. It is Red Team completely scoring over here. They don't even care. He's, he's going to get a third haunting guys. They don't stack. They don't stack. Oh, they're just they're just having fun. But Volv putting out the ultimate there and uh, dying. Goodbye, Wolf. We'll see you in another life. We do have the uh, the cages pick sitting on Lulu. And Ian going in here looking on blood. Looking at, uh, at blood on Philanthropic with... Uh, wow, Ian does manage to get that kill with the Q. And God's just barely escaping at the skin of his teeth. Avarice Blade sitting on here. Got him. Little, uh, takes a little head by head. And that ult is going to land on Pornography, but deal no damage. Second turret down goes to Red Team. They're still looking pretty equal. And the uh, the second turret, oh, the third turret actually going down to them as well. So 2-1 in turrets. They're looking 2k oh, up on gold nearly. So despite all of the trades going in Blue Team's favor, Red Team is still in the game. Very confusing play coming up from these guys, and I am hot as hell. This is intense. No, it's not. It's not even slightly intense. The seven people watching this can uh, can attest for how intense this is. Another turret taken down from Red Team. And Lone Pack getting all the damage taken on. A kill for a turret. Is it worth it? We'll find out. All of that, all of that lane control goes to Red. They've got the dragon. They've got three turrets. But now that Tortar had gone down to Blue Team, we'll put them in there in a little bit more control. They have the kill lane. Sorry, they have the kill comp. And Ingot's not able to survive this at all. Big burst out from uh, from Volf there. Volf now going wherever he pleases. Dealing all the damage he wants. Not even getting a Brutalizer going straight into a Last Whisper. The plays happening in this game are quite confusing. Into another longsword from Volf, probably getting a brutalizer here now. I would indeed hope. With rice cakes up against Rumble and pornography coming in. Well, there it goes down. A lot of 1v3s happening in this game, guys. Everyone getting caught out everywhere across the map. Maybe a little more warning. We might see that coming out later into the game. Remember, the uh, the winner of this game gets a large pat on the back. Yeah. Who wants to get me some of that? Pornography going in against the ultimate on her gutum. What does that actually deal? The onslaught of shadows scaling just that little bit of magic. Oh, he is putting down the equalizer here as we are seeing pornography come into the game. 
putting all the slows down on Reno Fox. Ian Wynn wants to get in on some of that. Ingots joining in with the fight. Pornography needs to get off the ultimate if he wants to get, stay in the fight. There he is. He's getting it off on Ian Wynn. Manages to get the kill on Tarek. Ian going down and sticks closely following behind with that ice blast. Going to be giving their fail flash going down with the uh, with the true shot. Barrage coming out from Israel does land a couple of kills in that fight. And Rice Gags now on cleanup duty. And Volve actually taking that kill away from him. No kill for the Israel today. Gonna gonna keep him back in the fights. 2-4 with uh, on Israel with 5-3 sitting on Volve at the moment. Sitting on that tasty Z. Another kill picked up by Volve. Perfect chase potential. Is he going to be able to go for that triple kill? Nope. That's Ingots in cat form as Nidalee. You do not want to play with a Nidalee when she's angry. Equal health? Come on. If you're lower, that bite is going to shred you to pieces. And, uh, okay, Rumbles has double the Andrews. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Good to know, McDad. Good to know. So doubles Lee Andrews. Nose stacking's there. <laughs> Apparently double Lee Andrews is, uh, is a thing. <laughs> oh, NZ, uh, NZWGF calling it. Severe best player in the game. Now picking up a BF sword. Isn't too fond of those five Dorans. Who would be? Equalizer down now. Oriana not going to be able to alter herself. She does throw it down. Manages to get it on Quank and Philanthropic. Coming in with a flame spitter now, though. Not going to be able to escape from the bite coming from Ingot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's what I. It's not what I said. Pornography is just too fun. He really is. 23 21 in the game. A little bit of advantage going to Blue Team. But the gold advantage sitting on Red Team's head. But they keep on getting caught out and they're doing a lot of silly item picks. That Aegis is going to be out on Tarek soon as well. And those team fights are going to be impossible to deal with. This may mark the end of Red Team. Even if they stay in the game very long. Even if they have that gold advantage. Where are they going to go from there? Trinity Force is on Nidalee. We have a Trinity Force Nidalee, guys. What exactly is happening there? The Severe does go down to the burst coming out from Pornography and Legend. I keep calling it Legend. He's Lone Pack. Lone Pack, guys. And it's another range of fights across the map. Ingot escaping that top engage with Ian coming in. Oh, he's going to get caught in, uh, in the Pornography. Oh. And there he goes down to a lot of bursts from Rumble. Pornography picking up the kill with an Ice Blast, I do believe. Stick boys looking for blood won't find it now. Team will be backing out. Static Shiv on Israel looking to continuously stack. Get out those tasty lightning strikes. Yeah, Nunu is getting pretty lucky. Getting all of those uh, doubles and triples. Getting all these single kills in team fights. He's sitting 6 4 now. Pretty hefty. All of that gold sitting on blue team. There's a little gold sink called Israel sitting 11-4. That's where all the gold is at. That's why they're uh, that's why they're a little bit down on gold. He's the one netting all of them kills. He's gonna be worth so much when he dies next. 6-4 landing on that uh, on that Nunu. That is a crazy Nunu. Not seeing any Tarek steals though. All the kills that Tarek has. He's on uh, what is he what is he on? Sitting 2-5. The two kills that he got, he, he well earned those. Look at that gold gap. Red keep running into difficult situations, but they're getting those kills from the engagers. When they get into a team fight, they're really doing well. And Ingot's not... Oh, does manage to bite the crap out of that turret. Will be up against Volv now. He's not going to go for the chase. He knows in Italy is easy escape times. And he's not going to be put in a, in a very, very good place. Would you look at that? The Brutalizer is sitting on here. Got him now. No Brutalizer on, on Zed going straight for the Bloodthirster. Equalizer saving Philanthropic as Ingots comes in. Oh, Onslaught of Shadows saving Ian from that engage. That Equalizer now not available to, to uh, Rumble. But a pretty quick cooldown on it. What are we looking at? Just 87 seconds. It is nothing in game time. 
equalizer worth it. Oh, will Lone Pack manage to go for the uh, for the suicide? No, he's going to play around the turret. See if he gets in. Win. No. Tried to play his cards, but they weren't quite right. No TF over here, peoples. Oh, oh, going down. He does manage to land it, but the flash out from Stiggy is going to keep it pretty damn safe. Blitzcrank will be hit by that true shot as Reno goes in with the, with the Radiance. And Quank going to be picked up. The last uh, the last prop going off on his static shiv there. Burning everything around him. Philanthropic going to try and push out a lot of damage. But those stuns, those fears. Absolute control coming out from Team Blue. Team Red were doing so much better in team fights before. But this, this was a little bit broken up. We're seeing a lot of this kind of play in the semi-pro league lately. A lot of broken up team fights. Here comes Ian Wynn on Slot of Shadows. Ingot may not have the escape potential with this. He is in Italy, but that's a dazzle. And that's all you need to take him out. Dazzle landed. Interesting, a cage's pick is on Nunu. He will be building a little bit of AP now. Dealing a lot more on those Ice Blasts. A lot more on that Cold Snap as well. What does it deal already? The absolute zero. Wow, receive up to... Enemies caught in the area will receive up to 875 damage. Magic damage. That is pretty devastating if people stay in it for long enough. Great for controlling fights. They force the stuns to be used on Nunu unless they want to take tons and tons of damage. Dragon before going for that red team. Going to that red team. Blue trying to engage, but Red has perfect control of the map. Can map of the troll. <laughs> totally what I meant to say. Bloodthirster finished on Zed, looking to be very, very dangerous in the late game. His burst is significant. Bloodthirster is on uh, is on severe as well. Not going auto attack dominance. Twenty-seven, twenty-five, and four hundred gold ahead. Sorry, four, five k gold ahead. As we do go in, pornography putting off the ultimate manages to get the full damage load off on Reno Fox. Does manage to go down to Ingots barely with that auto attack. It is a one for one right into the middle of the fight. Rumble for Tarek. Not an equal trade, but Ingot is on the run. Quank trying to escape now. No wild growth available. Is he going to be able to make it? No flash. Speeds up. Does get the help picks, but that is not enough. So it was a two for an exchange. A little bit in favor of blue team. Literally managing that escape, and now it is a dragon left for blue team. Lone Pack is in the back of the base, looking to get really aggressive on that uh, on that inhibitor. And I feel like they're not accounting for this. Down goes that Nunu, down goes the dragon for blue team, but an inhibitor for red. Is this going to net them enough control of the map? Then they're, they're still not going back. Severe is still in there. Tarek is the only one actually uh, actually responding to this. Lone Pack is going to sit there and deny farm everywhere. Reno Fox wants to go on a 1v1. But Hikarim is here. And he has home guard. That is it. Onslaught of Shadows will probably come out. Oh no. Pops the Shirelias and Lone Pack now juking him all over the place. Nobody's going to catch the Lone Pack and the Spell Shield not going down quite yet. He throws it out just in time. But that is it for Lone Pack. That was fun though. Lone Pack doesn't even afraid. Just going to flash wherever she pleases do whatever she wants if that spell shield is, had blocked that um had blocked that dazzle at the very end that would have gone for so much longer <laughs> can't imagine there you go severe number one everybody's calling it lone pack mvp of the semi pro league in the stream's eyes no doubt brother no doubt Ian putting out uh, putting out that knockback on pornography. Will Rice Cakes be able to follow up with it? Up against Quag, he is going for a one for one. Down goes the wow, that's interesting. Oh, the absolute zero will not pick up the kill against Rice Cakes. That was really weird. Quank popping out um, the the wild growth against Israel, but the true shot barrage apparently landed there, getting that damage off onto uh, onto the now onto the absolutely no magic or, or armor resistance. Quank destroying him. Is it going to be a Baron steal coming out? Sorry, a Baron coming out from blue. They have the map control. They're only up against Nidalee and Severe at the moment.
A lone pack coming in here. Does pop thrill of that hunt. Shen. Oh, no. Sorry. Zen coming in there. Bursting. That is how much burst you can get with, with Zen. With Zed. Damn it. <laughs> Being able to completely one-hit someone with a little bit of help from your friend Reno. All of these back and forths right now again way in favor of blue. In this case of course gold farm is equal but those kills are really up for blue. It's just been farm in terms of in terms of red. Minion farm is a little bit up for uh, for blue team. So I'm guessing because of the dragons because of those early uh, early turret kills and just to get that equalizer down on Volf. He's not going to escape. He does try and get out with a Shadow Clone. Not going to happen. The range on that not quite good enough. The Shadow, uh, sorry, the, the Living Shadow. Not quite getting him where he needed to be. And this is going to be a Baron for Red Team. Will he be able to come out of this alive? Everybody in the game is still playing. Even if this Baron goes down, it probably doesn't mean the end. Tarek spotting it out. Israel tries to put a true shot barrage down. But now it is Reno caught in the middle of everything. Oh, there it goes down. Tarek completely destroyed. Same as Volf, basically. Thanks to that cold sense. Thanks to that absolute zero. And a 1v1 lone pack versus rice cakes. Another kill for rice cakes. Got the bloodthirster. Got the static shift. Going into an ice spawn gauntlet. And Dan lone pack sitting there with the bloodthirster and a recurve bow. Still three Dorans in the bank. Started out with those five Dorans, slowly changing them to actual items. And there's the Bloodthirster. A little bit more damage coming out from Severe. Wanting to get out that, uh, that Phantom Dancer. Oh! Actually goes for a Hurricane! Bloodthirster into Hurricane on Severe. So those auto attacks will be going every which way. That's going to be a lot of fun as soon as she pops uh, Sorry, as soon as she pops on the hunt. That will generate a lot of move speed, a lot of attack speed. We're going to see a lot of damage pushed out here. Ah! They're ruining it for me. No, they're not telling me what's going on. I, I still don't know. Three minutes. We will see. Uh, we will see a lot of devastation coming down. Don't know if the game has ended though. And there's that iceborne coming out from rice cakes. Very, very useful in those team fights. Yomu's on on Ian, by the way. What, what's going on there? We do see Yomu's on the Hikarim, as well as that Spirit of the Lizard Elder. Called the Lizard Elder. Interesting. Shirelia is not going into a locket of the Iron Solari, but the Ghost Blade coming out on him as well. A little bit of armor pin. Good for that move speed and the attack speed coming out on it, but, uh, but the crit and, uh, and the attack damage really going to help out there. The move speed and the attack damage makes it such a pleasant item on Hikarim. Hikarim. I still pronounce it Hikarim. Just whenever I see Civ HD, I can't help but going Hikarim. Even if his voice is just a little bit deeper than mine. And uh, by a little bit, I mean a lot. Okay. That inhibitor is back up for blue team. Red team uh, looking in to be a little bit of a world of hurt. Those team fights are now not going in their favor. And now that uh, now that the inhibitor is back up, it'll be a lot less base control needed from blue team. Nidalee going for the Warmogs and the Atmos and Paler. So a lot of attack damage coming out from uh, from Nidalee and Sustain. Getting the Wriggles as well. This is a, uh, a pure 80 Nidalee. What is that fast cut I'm doing? That was insane with those, uh, with those damn... Home guard boots. He gets everywhere so ridiculously quickly. Flash Dazzle out onto the Quank who does have ultimate available. Lone Pack turning around, seeing if she can help. Look at all of that damage coming out. Let's see if this uh, sorry, let's see if the if the hurricane is gonna do anything. Quank having to ult himself and Severe just barely getting out of there alive. Gonna turn around though. But the sub zero, the absolute zero, has been popped by pornography already. Going for that chase. And Zed is on the hunt against Severe. Does manage to get the kill. Picks it up. And look at that. Nidalee and, uh, and, and Philanthropic. Nidalee and uh, Blitz. 
top let's what am i talking about nidalee and rumble looking to get that blood on down goes rumble nidalee managing to get the top nexus sorry the top inhibitor and would you look at that all of this backdooring is really paying off for red team while they may not be winning those team fights ingots trying to be like severe trying to go for that it's those crazy escapes and he might just make it oh he just wants that inhibitor oh it does not go down not even worth not just slightly if he got that down there would have been a lot more control having to be in base for blue team ah uh, but a bold move from nidalee trying to be severe did not quite work did not work them escapes pornography up against uh, up against sticks here in terms of map control no wards going out from either of the teams at all they have those uh, they have those uh, ruby side stones only severe can be severe. You're definitely right about that, NZWTF. Only severe can be severe. And only Kastanen can be Kastanen. x Pekka. All them x Pekka players. Randwin's now on, uh, on pornography. He's looking to tank up significantly for his team. Having that cages pick was definitely worth it in the, in the early game getting him that gold but now he needs to get tankier he needs to survive those fights he's not the main damage dealer getting the slow off on rice cakes down goes a dazzle and pornography may be done here pops the random ones out but that is probably it for him down goes the true shot and there's a flash into a shadow into a shadow dash from shin so from zed ah thinking of shin and the chase out from uh Hikata. i'm gonna pick up lone pack and red team still going for those back dooring is it going to work out for them is this going to be a base race middle is coming in for the kill as well they're going straight for those turrets they're looking for blood on those minions as well will they be able to get the turrets no in comes got him for the master smash getting those home guard boots down goes wild growth is he going to survive the base race has not been stopped though down goes red team philanthropic alive but not for long equalizer picks him up a kill worth definitely worth but in uh, in the top of red team's base they're able to uh, they're able to reciprocate the base race and they may actually be able to pull it off here ingots down in the base trying to deal with everyone back comes pornography he's got the home guard he's coming in for the kills but they're trying to focus down the nexus will rice cakes be able to manage this he's not focusing the nexus down they will be able to survive just a few seconds longer down goes rice cakes and Tarek getting the hell out of here. Way worth it. Way worth it. 43 32 in the game. 37 minutes in. And only 1k farm difference between these two teams. Gold farm, that is. Both of their bases are in ruins. Is it going to end in a base race? Where is it going to go? Pornography doesn't even care. He's going straight for the turret. <laughs> Gonna get a little bit of backup from that severe. And the super minion following them. Little super minion trailing after everybody. It's gonna be a sneaky Baron coming out from red team. If they manage to get this, where can they go from here? Blue team has spotted it. They are backing out of Baron. If red team focused that down, they may have had a real edge, but chasing after the Hikaram has put them way out of place. Blue team, I, I feel like they have no control over Baron, and they really didn't continue having it there. But red team going to chase them out nonetheless. When will these teams go down? Double the Andrews apparently working working for Blitzcrank. <laughs> it's not Blitzcrank, I'm kidding, it's Rumble. Um, but Rumble Rumble with his junkyard Titan makes him very, very strong. Doesn't even matter if he goes double the Andrews. That's the damage output potential of a Rumble. Ingot being caught out there by a Dazzle. Are we seeing the uh, the onslaught of shadows? I don't think so. Down goes a perfectly placed shockwave.
from the Oriana. Ingot's being chased out of here, will be the first to go down. And it looks like Blue Team are on the hunt. Quank maybe getting out a little bit there. Severe getting picked off at the back end. Maybe the next to go though. Oh yeah, the uh, the absolute zero catching him just a little bit off guard. The pornography will go down. It is going to be a three for three for an exchange. And uh, sorry, uh, Rumble is going straight for that inhibitor. But Rice Cakes and Tarek focusing down that Nexus. They're going to go straight for it and for the kill. Philanthropic looking for blood against Volf. May actually find it, but Sticky is here and available. Manages to get the inhibitor. But here come Reno Fox and Rice Cakes moving in at the top. They're looking for blood on that. Yeah, that Nexus is going to go down. Quank is trying to take them out with the Home Guard boots into a little bit of damage, but not enough. Rice Cakes and Reno have this Nexus under their control. It's going to be the win for them in this game. GG goes to Team Blue. Great game it was. Thanks for joining in, guys. The last game of the day is coming up. The Brand Finals of this series. We've got the Semi Pro League here. First one coming out for Lola and Zed by LOL and Zed, and we will be continuing to do big events like this. It's going to be really awesome, a lot of fun. And yeah, that is the one of the most entertaining games that I am burned out a little bit. We move, will move on to the final, final, the grand final, last game of the day, and the decider of this entire tournament.